this is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we're gonna do a juice off. So we have the Green Star Elite GSC 5000 over here. We have the Omega Vert VRT 330 on this side. And the question is, which juicer is more efficient juicing carrots? Since a lot of people juice carrots, and definitely carrots are high in carotenoids and uh, definitely good for you. When I first got into juicing, I juiced literally five pounds of carrots a day. So let's get started. Let's not waste any time here. Once again, this video is in real time. We're not going to do any editing or anything like that. So we got the uh, Green Star Lead turned on, got a pulp catch bin. We're just gonna start feeding in the carrots. The thing to notice on this is that, you know, on the Green Star Lead, you do need to push the carrots into the juicer. You're gonna see when we do the Omega VRT demo, that you know, literally you don't have to do any pushing. So that could add to the time it takes to actually make the carrot juice, for sure. But you know, what is gonna yield more? And remember, yield is only one component of a juicer's, of a juicer, you know? I mean, there's many components to what makes a juicer good. You know, the yield may be one, might be really important for some people. The, uh, the nutrient quality might be really important for some people. The ease of cleaning. It, you know, could be really important too. What about the price? You know, some people are living on a fixed income budget and, you know, can they afford a really expensive juicer? Another thing that might be important for somebody, and I know it is for me, is the warranty. Always when you go to buy some kind of appliance at the store, they try to sell you that extended warranty, you know. So this juicer has a five year warranty. The Omega VRT has a 10 year warranty. You know, so no, you don't even really need to buy an extended warranty for the Omega VRT because the warranty is already 10 years long. So we're feeding the carrots in and you can see, you know, I, it is taking some strength. So, you know, you're definitely going to get a workout and build your muscles when you're using the Green Star Elite Juicer. And once again, I do like to use the wooden pushing, the wooden pusher. They do give you a plastic pusher to use. But I find that uh, you know sometimes the plastic can get ground off if you're not putting it in the correct direction. So I'm you know juicing these as fast as I can. Still taking a little bit of time here. The pulp's coming out, it's pretty dry. Let's talk a little bit about carrots. These carrots are uh, basically uh, baby carrots. And you can see the uh, pulp coming out of the juice, and you can see the juice coming out of the juicer right now. And these are baby carrots from Earthbound Farms. And actually, they are uh, they come pre-washed, so it makes juicing really easy. You literally just take them out, and you just uh, you know put them into the juicer and start to juice. These were purchased at uh, local Costco, and Costco's the you know least expensive place to buy your organic carrots. They have the uh, baby carrots that are pre-washed, and they also have. Um, full-size carrots too in a, in a 10 pound bag. These very baby carrots come into a five pound bag. So we're juicing five pounds of uh, the baby carrots. And I'm feeding them at a rapid rate and there'll be no editing on this video so it may run over into two parts. And we'll see how that works. But I'm getting a quite a workout here. Literally with the, with the carrots or other hard vegetables on the Green Star Elite Juicer there's two gears like spinning inside there that I can see and uh, you know it looks for you guys out there it looks like a transmission if you ever looked inside a transmission it's literally two gears spinning inside and you're literally having to push the carrots into those gears to make it crush. I do want to point out that on the Green Star Lead Juicer this is the world's first triple stage or a three stage twin gear juicer. There's a crushing stage, a mixing stage, and finally the pressing stage. So we're almost done. We probably have another pound of carrots left. And on the carrots, you can see these are the standard orange color carrots. You know, these are the ones that are most popular. They 
been hybridized, you know, so carrots in the wild before there was orange carrots, there are, you know, carrots like that were white and purple and different colors. So I recommend everybody to try heirloom carrots that may be available at your, your local farmer's market or some specialty stores may have the heirloom carrots that are different colors. They're not quite as sweet as the orange carrots and they have a whole different spectrum of um, antioxidants. So this pitcher is getting a little full here. So we're going to just stop it for a second and we're going to fill up our measuring glass so we could uh, determine how much juice is coming out of this juicer. So this, uh, with, with the TriBest Green Star Elite Juicer, you get a nice uh, pour, a pitcher, glass pitcher with the Omega Vert. It's a plastic pitcher. So we're going to put that underneath there. And so once again, this is from the Green Star Lane Juicer. We're going to continue to juice some more. So it does take some force, you know, so if you do have maybe, you know, not a whole lot of body strength, upper arms, what can make it easier is if you stand on a stool and you actually get more leverage to push the uh, produce in. I mean, you'll get a workout every morning. You know, I don't like to go to the gym. You know, I can say I get a workout by juicing, or actually I usually get a workout by gardening and doing regular outdoor activities that you would do every day. So now this, this um, demonstration that I'm doing, I'm just doing a yield test only on the carrots. So this may not be a real world example of actually what you would be juicing. This is just because, you know, carrots are what are most often juiced for a lot of people. But normally, you know, you would do a mix of juice. So you would do carrots, apples, and maybe some leafy greens, some celery, and different things like that. And I do want to point out that, you know, yield tests may show a yield on a certain produce, but on a di different produce, it may be different. So we're doing carrots now and if we did you know spinach or you know actually I did do another video on spinach so you can check out the yield test on the spinach between the green star lead and the omega vert and the time that it takes you to juice you know not only the time that it takes you to clean the juicer but the time that it takes you to juice I mean is your time valuable you could spend more time I mean we spend quite a bit of time juicing here in the uh, Green Star Leaf Juicer, and you'll see how easy it is to juice with the Omega VRT Juicer in just a couple minutes actually. We're just about finished juicing five pounds of baby carrots in the Green Star Leaf Juicer. got about a handful of carrots left here. Then we're going to move over to the Omega BRT juicer. As you can see, we have a pile of pulp. The pulp is definitely still good. You know, you could use it if you, uh, you know, bake. You could make carrot cake with it. You could make crackers with it. You could uh, feed the pulp and mix it in with your dog food and give them some additional fiber. You could make a salad out of it. So many different things you could do with the pulp. I actually like to put the pulp uh, in my worm compost bin. So you can see that's five pounds of baby carrots juice with the Green Star Elite Juicer. We're gonna turn that off now and we're gonna go here to the uh, Omega VRT Juicer. Five more pounds of baby carrots, let's open it up. Now we're gonna to have to continue this video because we're just about a out of time. So we're gonna come right back with juicing in the Omega VRT juicer.